Hello, this is Owen and the Mountain, and it was the very first book I had accepted. I was so excited. And do you know how many times I wrote this before Bloomsbury said they would make it into a book? 187. Woo! Owen went to stay with his granddad. Granddad lived on his own in a cottage at the foot of a mountain. He had no television. He had no car. It was a long time since he'd had a child to stay. It was his cottage at the foot of a mountain. What would you like to do, Owen? asked Grandad. Owen looked out of the window. All he could see was the great mountain rising to the sky. There they are. Him and the woman and his granddad. I suppose we could play a game, said Grandad, trying to think of one. I don't want to play a game, said Owen. I want to go up there, to the top of the mountain. Grandad said nothing for a long time. I'm sorry, Owen, he sighed. You're too young to walk up the mountain. Too young to walk to the top of the mountain, anyway. And I'm too old. Later, Grandad went to Owen's room to say goodnight. He found him sitting by the window. Grandad, said Owen, the sheep can climb the mountain, even the old ones. Please, can we try? Grandad sat next to him, and they were quiet. All right, Owen, he said at last. If it's fine tomorrow, we'll try to climb the mountain. Early the next morning, Owen ran along the path. He stopped at the edge of the woods. It's dark in there, Grandad, he said. I don't like it. Look, there they are, going into the woods. It's all right, Owen, said Grandad, coming close. Take my hand. Can you hear the birds? He whispered as they entered the woods. Owen listened. He heard the birds singing in the trees. They walked a little further. Can you hear the wind? asked Grandad. Owen listened and heard the wind sighing among the leaves. I like the woods, Grandad, said Owen as they came out into the daylight. I like the woods when I'm with you. The path up the mountain was steep and stony. It was easier for Grandad with his grown-up legs, but it was hard for little Owen. I'm tired, Grandad, he said, as they came to the bubbling stream. Can we stop? Oh, of course we can, Owen, said Grandad. We can stop as often as you like. Grandad showed Owen how to cup his hands to drink the fresh, clear water. And they rested. Some water from the stream, and so is the dog. The path's not so steep now, Owen, said Grandad. Would you like to ride on my shoulders? Oh, yes, Grandad, said Owen. So Grandad lifted him up and bounced him along high in the air. <clears throat> I like it here, Grandad, said Owen. I like it in the mountains with you. <clears throat> Soon they came to a beautiful lake. Owen laughed, throwing pebbles into the shining water. He laughed some more as Grandad showed him how to choose smooth, flat stones and bounce them across the lake. Isn't it wonderful, Owen, said Grandad, stretching out on the grassy bank. I could stay here all day. There they are, throwing water, skimming stones in the water. But Owen didn't want to stay. He wanted to get to the top of the mountain. Come on, Grandad, he called, running off up the path. Slowly, Grandad got to his feet. Wait for me, Owen, he cried. Don't go on your own. He was Owen running off on his own. Not a good idea. Owen clambered up the steep slope. When he got to the narrow ridge, it was cold, so cold, and the wind took his breath away. 
Owen looked all around and he was frightened. He looked down. Wait, there he is. Up. Down the high ridge. On his own. Uh oh. Bit scared now. But he looked down and he saw Grandad trudging up behind him and he was glad. Grandad, he cried shivering, I was scared. It's all right, Owen, said Grandad, holding him tightly. You're safe now. I'm sorry I ran off, Grandad, said Owen. I want to be with you now. There they are, together. Owen's cuddling him to warm him up. He got a bit cold and he got a bit frightened. And I want to be with you, Owen, said Grandad. Here, put on my jumper, you're freezing. He took off his big woolly jumper and put it over Owen. It reached down to Owen's knees and they both laughed. At last, together, they reached the summit of the great mountain. Wow, right to the top. Owen looked down and he could see the lake, the woods and even Grandad's cottage tiny in the distance. He looked up and there was nothing but sky. Right at the top of the high, high mountain. We're on top of the world, Grandad, aren't we? said Owen. We are, Owen, said Grandad, putting his arm around him. Owen snuggled in close and they were quiet. The way down was hard for them both, and they had to stop many times to rest their weary legs. My knees are like jelly, said Owen, catching hold of Grandad. So am I, no one said Grandad, steadying him. But if we take it slowly, we'll be fine. As the long, hard day turned to evening, they arrived back at the cottage. Grandad warmed up some soup and an Owen squashed up beside him in the big cosy armchair. I'm glad we climbed the mountain, Grandad, he said sleepily. I'm glad I came to stay. So am I, Owen, said Grandad, smiling. So am I. And that's the end of my mountain story. Owen and Duck.